Let's talk about editing and outputting vertical videos for YouTube Shorts, shall we? First things first, let's address those pesky black bars at the side of our video. We want our video to fill the entire screen, so we're gonna go from 16 by nine to nine by 16. In your editing software, make sure your sequence settings are set to 1080 by 1920 or a nine by 16 ratio. This will ensure that your video fills the entire screen and just like that, the black bars are gone. Now let's move on to some basic editing techniques. When editing your vertical video, keep in mind that the majority of people will be on their mobile devices. It's important to note that YouTube has specific requirements for videos to qualify as YouTube Shorts. One of the most important requirements is that the videos must be under one minute long. That means not one minute and one second, not one minute and two milliseconds, if it's over one minute long, it will not qualify as a YouTube short. It'll be registered as a vertical video in a horizontal player, and you don't want that. Blech. This means that you want to keep your video short and to the point, with quick cuts and eye-catching effects. Once you finish editing your video, it's time to export for YouTube Shorts. So let's make sure we get those settings right. But before we do, if you're finding this video helpful, like and subscribe. Okay, so in your export settings, make sure to select an H.264 codec and a resolution of 1080 by 1920. You could also hit match source to match the sequence settings. This will ensure that your video looks great on any device. One quick tip is that when you upload your YouTube short through the YouTube platform on a computer, if you look to the right of the screen, the URL should say shorts in it. Now you're ready to launch your short to the world. Hope this video helped. Thanks for watching and happy editing.